Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm here this time with uh, Dr. Carpio, and I'm going to ask her just a few questions and make it a quick interview. Um, she practices out of CSIP. Am I saying that correctly? CSIP Clinic <laughs> in uh, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Um, Doctora. Tell me, Katrina. Um, do you do mommy makeovers? I get that question quite a, often from my clients. Yes, I do mommy makeover, but depends on the patient. BMI, mm -hmm. test, evaluations. If the patient have a good BMI, is not too big. Right. And they the hemo is good, the other's evaluation is good, and it's not to be, for example, if they, I don't need to remove too much fat, too much skin, I could do mommy makeover, and if the breast is just to put an implant, for example, without breast lift, breast lift I could. But not all the patients qualify by mommy makeover. That's very important because many patients ask me about this. And is her uh, the BMI is very high, uh, her emo, hemo is very low, and all the things are not is not good for two mommy makeover. It's just some patients, not too not all the patients, it's very important. I recommend for all my patients that, for example, a, a, the VMI is a 33 a, and have an assessment of the skin because sometimes a people, a, the patient have 33, but her, a, the abdomen is flat. If the abdomen is flat, it's not, don't need a tummy tuck, need just a lipo. For that reason, it depends of the patient. All the procedures that the needs the patient depends of the patient. It's very important the evaluation. At the first time, if the patient is not able to get mommy makeover and her abdomen is with excess of the skin, I recommend tummy tuck with muscle repair, lipo, section and BBL and then six months later when all is good can do the breast okay. okay um what type of breast implants do you use are they gummy bear are they saline silicone 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 yes I love silicone because it's a normally the companies do a cohesive Hell, it's not a going out of the breast. Okay. Um, what days of the week do you perform surgeries? A lot of people want to come in and because of work schedules, they need to have surgery on Saturday. Do you, well, today is yes. Sunday, so. Yes. yes. <laughs> I did two surgery yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yes, it depends. Normally, on Saturday, I'm not usually in surgery, but if it's necessary because I have too much patients, I do surgery on Saturday. Okay, and this is a huge question that everybody mm. asks. Mm. How many surgeries a day do uh, you all, do? All patients <laughs> ask me about this. Two or three. Okay. I mean two or three, not more, because uh, I take my time doing surgery. And if I take too much time doing one surgery, I can with two, with, uh, I can with four, five, six, seven patients. It's too hard. And I try to do the best for the patient. Normally, three, four days, or two in any cases. 
Okay. Um, do you have a maximum BMI? Yes. I don't like a. I I don't usually do surgery up down thirty seven. Okay. Um thirty seven and depends of the patient. Okay. Because sometimes have thirty seven but they send me a picture and it's too big and the patient have any disease that is not good to do, for example, two procedures has the, at the same time. Okay, and that kind of answers a question um, if a patient has disease. So you do deal with hypertension, um, yes. high blood pressure, Yes, diabetes. if the cardiologist say that the patient can do the surgery, of course, hypertension control it, okay. obviously and take the medicine and the pressure is normal with the medicine. Perfect. Okay. Well, I can't think of any more questions <laughs> and I won't waste any more of your time, but thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>